We're kicking off live's Recipe Rewind Week. We'll find out where our favorite recipes come from and then give them an updated twist. And first up, we're gonna learn about a recipe that, we'll, that we all know and love, the peanut butter and the jelly sandwich. The humble PB&J. Let's take a look. The beloved peanut butter and jelly sandwich is more than just the favorite food in the Consuelos home. Lovingly known as PB&J, it's been a lunchbox staple and a family favorite for as long as anyone can remember. But how did it happen? Who had the brilliant idea to take peanut butter and jelly and put them together between two slices of bread? When did peanut butter meet jelly? Let's examine the ingredients. Jelly is made from strained fruit juices and sweeteners, and its origins date back to the 11th century. It was during the Middle Ages that jellies, jams, and marmalade recipes popped up in the cookbooks. Peanut butter didn't become a part of the American diet until the late 19th century when John Harvey Kellogg, yes, the cereal guy, patented a process for manufacturing peanut butter, which he considered to be a health food. But peanut butter wasn't officially introduced until 1893 at the Chicago World's Fair. It was around the same time that small peanut butter sandwiches started to appear in elegant tea rooms in New York City. And then everything changed. And it happened in a city that's known for baked beans, cream pie, and a tea party. That's right, that city is Boston. In 1901, the very first PB&J recipe was written by a woman named Julia David Chandler. And it appeared in the Boston Cooking School magazine of culinary science and domestic economics. At the time, peanut butter was served at fancy parties and tea rooms in little sandwiches with pimentos and watercress. But Julia David Chandler had another idea and suggested using currant or crab apple jelly. She wrote, quote, the combination is delicious and so far as I know, original. Indeed it was, Julia, and thank you. It didn't take long for her genius idea to take off, and before long, children and adults of all ages were enjoying a variety of fruit jellies with their peanut butter to create the peanut butter and jelly sandwich that we all know and love today. I'm getting, I'm getting emotional. I know. I'm emotional. Do you need a tissue for your tears? Who says we don't educate? Who says? When we come back, we're making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Okay, time out. The weirdest, coincidence. craziest coincidence of all time. She has over 4 million followers on TikTok and is the author of Cooking with, Sh uh, Cooking with Shireen from Scratch. Her uh, show, she's here to show us how to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches from scratch, is a woman who's husband I went to high school with, <laughs> Shireen Pavlidis. <laughs> I love that you said that. <laughs> How crazy is that? I mean, what are the chances? And you went to a really big high school. Yes, it's like crazy. I know, See, How small world. Small, the smallest world. Yeah. Wow, well, will you give him my regards uh, and tell him he's very smart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Shireen, Thank you for being here. Yes. Thank you for having this me. This man is, I don't like to use the word addicted, but he certainly loves a PB&J. It's my go-to. Mm -hmm. I heard. I so, heard you like it on ciabatta. I can do it on any kind of bread. Okay. Yeah, but okay. ciabatta's, yeah, I do like a ciabatta bread. Okay. So, so can you teach us how to make, I would love to surprise him by okay. making PB&J from oh, scratch. Oh, well, oh my goodness. Well, mm -hmm. I don't know that he could fall any more in love with you, but he will because <laughs> he, he, the smell of fresh bread baking in your house, mm. oh my gosh, that's heaven. It's yeah. where the memories, you know, you build, that's how memories are created through smells and the foods, but we are doing it soup to nuts. Okay. Or, Actually, peanuts. Yeah. We're doing peanuts from, we're making peanut butter, we're making the homemade jam, and old school sandwich bread. I nice. love that you yeah. bake bread from scratch. Yeah. That's how you land it, right? You just got right. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. But it's not that hard. Mm -hmm. It's really okay. not. All right, so start with the peanut butter. Okay. Here's how hard it is. Ready? Ready. Open up the yeah. food processor. But that's, and by the way, we peanuts. find that challenging here. And really, that's it. We're going to press go. That's it. After two to three minutes, once it's nice and smooth, if you want it chunky smooth. You like it chunky Yeah, smooth. two to three minutes. Smooth. He likes it smooth. He does, me too. All right. Me too. He's a smooth guy. Yeah. yeah. And then here you go. It comes, this is a little chunky smooth, but it'll get really sort of nice and pliable. So and that's beautiful. it, you don't have to add oil or anything? Nothing, nada, zero, that's <laughs> it. You can put a little salt, little sea salt mm -hmm. in there if you okay. want. If you wanted to do cashews, almonds, if you wanted to do seeds, you could do seeds. Wow. Yeah. 
Yeah, so okay. if you have peanut allergy, you could always do seeds. Yeah. The jam is super easy as okay. well. This is the time you're gonna, when, when berries are in season. Yes, is, right. It's really when you're gonna do this. So strawberry season, you're gonna go take your kids strawberry picking. I yes. do that with my kiddos. And you know, just a little chefy tip. I like to say chefy tip. To haul the strawberry, I like to just, I rip this off just so I can see mm -hmm. visually underneath. And then a true haul is not whacking the top. We're just gonna remove that. That way you get more of the strawberry huh. and less waste than whacking the top. I <laughs> see, I would like throw it in there, stem and all. <laughs> so now I did fiber, you know. That's yeah, a little, yeah. oh, you little keep fiber. that little yeah, tip yeah, yeah. on you, in yeah. your back pocket. Well, you know, my, my <laughs> brother in law does that with, on the beach. We'll make strawberry um, daiquiris and he throws them in. My daughter's like, you know, you forgot to take off the stem. He's like, ah, it's good fiber. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay, so, so into. Toss them in. Yep, right in. So strawberries in, very few ingredients. That's the beauty about cooking from scratch. Minimal ingredients. Mm -hmm. I like real mm -hmm. sugar. I like to say sugar. Mm -hmm. Right in it goes. And then just for a little brightness, I have another little chefy tip. So you want to take your lemon. Uh -huh. So first we'll zest it so it just makes it easier. Ooh. So you just sort of zest your lemon. Pop that in there. Just you, you just get a little boost of lemony flavor. And then I like to say roll the lemon. It or toss the whole you lemon can? in there. Why not? It's your show. Do what you want. Exactly. Thank you. Gelman, did you hear that? It's my show, so back up. Yeah. Throw another lemon in. And then I like to say, roll the lemon. It loosens the juice. Oh, so you yeah, have yeah. the segments. Mm -hmm. They break down the segments, and then that way it's nice. So you, can feel, you can feel how it's squishy. Yeah. Just that little bit. Yep. And then... That's it. Squeeze it in there. A little bit of lemon I like juice. This. I'm do that. My um, ahead, my husband's sweet. family is from Cyprus, mm -hmm. so there's lemon trees everywhere. And Wait, we... do you get to go home to the family house, the family compound in Cyprus? Wow, this <laughs> smells so we, good. We were married in Cyprus. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh yeah. my you boy, you are. You both are very smart. <laughs> Um, this is exciting. Uh, yeah. We are we done? We're oh. gonna take a commercial break. We're gonna come back with Shireen. Stick around. Okay. Shireen, what other peanut butter variations and jelly variations are we looking at here? I've got one in my hands. Is this like French toast? Oh yeah, yeah. So we did some stuffed French toast. So literally, toast. you're making a yeah. PB and J. I want to dunk it in. And here. just like, yeah, do it. I do. I want. Yeah. To. And you're just gonna coat it in the eggs. Mm -hmm. so I do a little eggs, a little vanilla extract, a little cinnamon. Yeah, it's good, right? You know, you know what I do mm -hmm. is um, flour tortilla. Boom, warm. boom, right Wrap there. Boom, yep. there you go. I have banana, I peanut try. butter, and you can dip it in um, the jam. I or should... you can even put Nutella in there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You like a Nutella moment I do. too. Amazing. All right, so, so I'm... So Mark, let me tell you, so for the strawberry jam, bring it to a bubble. Reduced to about medium, 20, mm -hmm. 25 minutes, mm -hmm. and that's it. You're done. done. There's jam. You're gonna let it cool. You're gonna refrigerate it up to, sometimes I've left it in there one, two months. Mm -hmm. No problem. You could also can it. That's a whole that's it. thing though, isn't it? To can. Yeah. You gotta like sterilize it. it, and then... it it's a little bugger. It is. But you know what? It sits on your shelf. Is no. it on your is it on your TikTok? I didn't do I have a canning, it's in my dress. I haven't done that because I All did right. it with marinara. But you know, I just spread it. Now. I just spread it. The, the peanut butter spreads very nicely. Beautiful. And so does the jam. Mm. And I'm can I, can I try it? Okay. Can this try is it? I mean you're you're the connoisseur here. Are you gonna be honest? Yeah. Yeah. Shereen, yes. Mm. It is so lovely to oh, see you. So nice to meet you. Oh my you. gosh. Well, this is like the smallest world. <laughs> it really is. Uh, be sure to pick up a copy of Shireen's cookbook, Cooking with Shireen from Scratch. Available everywhere books are sold. Go to our website, kellyandryan.com, for all of today's recipes. Amazing.